Hi, this is Bob Scott with NIMS and Associates. Today we're going to chat about generic inquiries and how they're used in Acumatica. Our agenda is to talk about what generic inquiries are, and we're going to create a simple generic inquiry, and then we're going to show you how to use generic inquiries. A generic in inquiry is a user created uh, inquiry or export screen. There's no programming involved. Most users uh, will be able to create their own, although typically an administrative user would make those. They're used to expose data uh, to Excel. Uh, generic inquiries can be read by Excel and outside third-party uh, web-based products. And they can be also exposed on the Acumatica uh, mobile app. Generic inquiries are also used to create dashboard widgets and pivot tables. Creating a simple generic inquiry. To create a simple generic inquiry, navigate to the system under customization, and you'll find generic inquiry. The system comes with various generic inquiries already, but we're gonna build one from, from scratch. The one we're gonna build is gonna be related to vendor invoices. So I'm gonna give the inquiry a title. No spaces are allowed in the title. And if I'm going to place the generic inquiry on an Acumatica menu, I'm going to give it the title that I want, to, want it to appear on the menu. Then I can tell the system where I would like to place it on the menu. In this case, since this is going to be related to accounts payable, I'll choose finance, accounts payable, under work order, and maybe I'll put it under the enter screen. These two buttons here, exposed via OData and exposed to mobile, mean that you can create a generic inquiry that becomes a very powerful uh, integration tool. So for example, if I choose to expose this via OData, other programs, provided they have access rights to Acumatica, can read it. So Excel can read it directly, various other database programs, web programs can use it to, to read data automatically from Acumatica. Exposed to mobile means that this generic inquiry could be available on the mobile device with, within Acumatica. So on your iPhone, this generic inquiry could be available. In creating the generic inquiry, the first step is to select which table you're going to use. A little bit of knowledge around the table structure of uh, Acumatica is important here. But for our purposes, we're going to use the AP invoice table. The alias is used to further describe the table. If you tab through it, it will use the default alias. That's uh, useful if you need to link the same table more than one time to the generic inquiry. I could link other tables to this generic inquiry, but for this simple generic inquiry, uh, we're going to skip past that, that step. The next step is to navigate to the results grid, and this is where I tell the system what I want to show on the screen. The object is the table that I've linked. The data field is fields within that. So in this case, I want my first field to be the vendor ID. In the second field, I'm going to put the vendor name. In the next field, I'm going to put in the batch number. And in the next field, I'm going to put in the AP reference number. I think it would be a good idea to put in the document date, the invoice date. And then also to add the amount of the invoice. 
which the field is called dock amount. Our basic generic inquiry is now complete. If I clicked on OK and saved it, I could view my generic inquiry and it will show me all vendors and all invoices. This is not filtered and we'll talk about filtering in a moment. But the, the use of the generic inquiry allows for drilling into anything that is hyperlinked. Acumatica automatically hyperlinked various aspects of the data. So I could drill into a vendor and then from there look at vendor details pay bills look at the invoice i could look at the batch number this is the general ledger transaction that this invoice created i could also drill directly into the invoice the drill down capabilities of a generic inquiry make it a very powerful tool if i wanted to somehow filter or or sort this uh, vendor invoice uh, generic inquiry. I could go back to my generic inquiry and tell the system that I'd like to sort it. Give it a field to sort on. In this case, I'm going to sort by the vendor ID. By clicking, you'll see that the sort order of the generic inquiry has changed, and vendors with a lower number are now filtered to the top. If I would like to make the generic inquiry a little bit more user dynamic, in other words, prompt the user uh, for questions, in this case, what I'd like to do is ask the user which vendor they would like to see. Once I've set up a parameter, I could, uh, and, and really what a parameter does is this is the, the part that talks to the user, and you'll see that in a moment. In, under conditions, though, I can tell the system that the data field called vendor ID is going to be equal to the vendor number parameter that I created. If I save that and look at our inquiry again, you see that it starts initially empty, but then now there's a new field here where I can select which vendor I want to look at. By selecting the vendor, it filters it and only shows the invoices related to that vendor, but still allowing me to drill into various aspects of the generic inquiry. Now, because I put this generic inquiry on a sitemap under Enter, Accounts payable, work area, enter. I'm expecting to see this now under enter. And there's our generic inquiry on the menu in Acumatica. Using generic inquiries. Generic inquiries are a powerful component within Acumatica. Many of the inquiry screens in Acumatica really are below the surface generic inquiries. In our previous segment, we built a generic inquiry called vendor invoices. Vendor invoices allow us to select individual vendors and upon selection, show us the invoices that are related to it. Now, on the vendor invoice screen, this generic inquiry, you've got some options. If I wanted to export the contents of the screen, to Excel. I could do that by clicking. That will open Excel if it's not already open and populate it with the contents of the grid. I could further sort my generic inquiry by using the header field up here. So various components can actually be dragged up here. So if I want to list this and sort this by batch number, I could do that. You can also 
filter and sort on individual columns. So for instance, if I wanted to only see invoices between a certain date, let's say, I could filter on each column in turn. Filters can be saved. And if I choose to create a filter, I can save it as well. Saving a filter will save a lot of time for users when they're, when they're sorting and using uh, generic inquiries. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. For more information about NIMS and Associates and Acumatica, contact Henry Kim.